That's hey, what the is way up, guys? The code code base uh, today's topic commentary okay, is about what I think should happen in order to save the gaming market from an epic downfall and to put it even more in a very, very deep hole than it is already is as of now. So let's get into it. From what I can tell is, uh, one of the main things that needs to stop happening is that developers need to stop listening to you. And what I mean by news in general is that you know, people that go out online today or just go out in general, they buy the game, play it for about three or four or five weeks or even a month's time, and then they end up selling it back. And that's what most developers are starting to listen to. You listen, to listen to people. Now, they listen to people that only buy their product for a couple of months and then they end up selling it back. Now, yeah, they use the excuse of saying, well, we're trying to grow our community from what it is to make it a lot bigger. Well, the way I see it is, if your community is already in a good enough way of standing, then, you know, keep making the game like you always have made it. If people want to come play it, they'll come and play it. You don't have to, you know, change it just to try to get everybody, you know, on board with it. You know, you still got hardcore fans that have been with you since day one and love the stuff that you keep putting out. And they don't like how you want to try to be like everybody else and try to have like the same gaming mechanics, same controls. So you can try to get a whole bunch of news that, you know, that's not even going to play your product that long. And that's what upsets most veterans in most of these multiplayer games. Or even most likely or also, you know, single player games. You know, developers try to appeal to, you know, people that are only going to play their stuff just for a certain amount of time. They should only, I, in my opinion, I think they only should, you know, you know, respond to hardcore veterans, people that have always played their product for years. You know, they always have gave back decent you know, feedback. They bought pretty much like any ultimate or special edition of any of their games that ever come out. And I really think they should take it to heart that they should listen to them more than people that are trying to play the game that they're trying to get on you know somebody that's been playing your game a lot more longer has a lot more experience and a lot more and should have a lot more weight uh when you know, they report something about the game like uh gears of war judgment for example um from what i've been hearing you know gears of war judgment you know the people online status for like during midday like around three o'clock or so you know when people are pretty much are done for work for the day, you know, they're coming home to chill, you know, that has dropped a lot over this past month, you know, and Gears of War 3 has so naturally went up a lot, um, that proves it right there that, that half of that percentage of those people that were playing Gears of War Judgment were people that, you know, went out, bought the game, played it for a couple of weeks, or in this case, a month's top, and, you know, they went back and sold it back to, um, GameStop and said, you know what, I'm done, I'm, I'm pretty much done playing Gears of War, nothing's really changed and anything like that and then when you go look at Gears of War 3 I can say that's the snapshot uh, the, the veterans okay, that you know that probably went out bought Gears of War Judgment decided to give it a chance and then they finally woke up to the reality that this game is pretty much garbage it's, it's just a COD remake y'all know some probably Gears of War people out there probably saying, you know you can't say that about Gears of War that's not true but anybody with common sense can tell that they totally ripped off Call of Duty with everything you know this doesn't even that Gears of War Judgment doesn't even look like or okay, feel like a Gears game, it just feels like a Call of Duty game, just with a Gears of War theme Great. set around I'm going it. In. And I'm really sort of pissed off at Epic that they allow production of this monstrosity that they created, and they actually what tried to game? pass that as a Gears of War Judgment wait. game. You but you know, I'm proud of the veterans out there that didn't go out there and spend their $63 on that game. You know, you guys are hey, the real Gears of War fans. I really was keeping this title alive. Here. And for all you Gears of War no people that you saying that you are hardcore, no, then you, you guys are, are not good. really hardcore. You, Sorry, I say in my case, you guys are sellouts. Because you basically you. You set up and told, and you let Epic tell you you're going to like the game and enjoy it. And you guys are Sly sitting up Cooper. taking whatever crap like they want to make, and you know they can be done better with Gears of War Judgment. Well, just Gears of War in general, I think that, like I said before in previous videos, you know, uh, Gears of War 3, it still had a lot of potential, you know, it may have its, its, its you know, bugs and stuff, but like, what game doesn't have that, but I bet you Epic kept production still open with Gears of War, a lot of those problems that people were having couldn't have been fixed, and you know, like, stuff like with Judgment, I could sort of see that less of being like a campaign story of Judgment being more of like another single-player campaign DLC like they did with Ryan Shadow and Gears of War 2. 
That's what I could have saw, you know, the Good Judgment's campaign be a more of a Gears of War 3 type single player option. And, you know, they added on more characters like the sniper, uh, the, the girl that wanted to be on the star. I can't think of her name right now. Then you got Young Cold and Young Bear. There's another character you can play in Gears of War 3. Plus, added on all the new maps that they gave the Judgment, you know. That can have been a very, very awesome DLC. They chose to make it for Gears of War 3, you know, and fixed all you know, the barking over the. Uh, uh, walking over on no uh, objects in the game, you know, that could have been a nice addition to it, but you know, uh, that's what happens when, you know, game developers get too big of a head, and they don't really think so much of their fans anymore, but, well, not just what else can I say about Carmelita? I can also, also see As you can see, our relationship is to, like, dead space complicated, uh, and I just dead space free, I'm not going to say it was a bad game, it's actually pretty good. But you I certainly wasn't expecting her to crash the party. Going into this she'd been so busy with her latest really case, I never thought she'd have her eye on me. Space famous In fact, I'd kind of been counting you know, scaring on it. The shit out of players, you know, but then, you I should have known better than to underestimate the Inspector that Carmelita giant, uh, Fox. As much as she liked having fun, Carmelita was serious about her police work. Real quick, so you didn't get... And now, and I had you know, a lot of stuff like that to do. is what made Dead but Space the plan was in motion, it always kept you at the end no of your stopping now. edge of your seat, always Even had you look over your shoulder to make sure nothing was going to behind you. Things stuff up like that, later. but then they sort of moved into, you know, making Dead Space a more action type base Before the heist, shooter, we you know, they didn't really do it so much in Dead Space, uh, to, you know, they still kept scaring your ass off. Back because it was irreplaceable and the only guy we had, as, um, it was far you know, too risky to take the Dead Space time 1 with us. and then when Dead Space 3 Bentley came out, you know, they pretty much wiped that out completely. There's really nothing no there that where really scares you, it's pretty much just an action shooter with the Dead Space story and all this. It was a perfect situation, since it allowed him to update us on any changes to the book, while limiting our exposure to his fashion critiques. Everything was happening so fast. The past few days were just a blur, but as we howled through the time vortex, I really I realized days, we were in for war a in the very first modern warfare. It was, it was something new. They didn't try to make it noobish. They didn't have all these problems with gun damage output, you know, hit, hit marker ratios, how much damage people can take. You know, they didn't have all these problems, and, you know, and lag wouldn't serve so much of a know that much big of a deal back then but then as you can see now that you know Activision has really made the franchise worse they're just always constantly you know just putting something out in order to uh, make money and you know you have people out there that's, that's stupidly coming out here buying the stuff and like the way to fix that problem is stop buying Call of Duty games now I understand that everybody wants to get a Call of Duty game because you know it's like a common game to play and stuff but we if need you're to one of those main Ryuichi people Cooper. that sits up and complains 24 Ninja? 7 about how you don't think your bullets register or how you and keep a shotgun According to the Cooper clan history, Ryuichi Cooper was actually the inventor of sushi. And they keep getting kills off of you. And what After the hell are you this buying? Dish, Whether it be he opened PC, a sushi restaurant, Xbox, which, which while very PlayStation 3, also or provided I think it's on, cover in, on for a Wii ninja. U now. I don't know, but when we got why do you Japan, keep buying the stuff and you complain about it 24-7? I never what understood about that. Village about some was more people. Like a heavily you complain about a game, base. and then you go out and buy the game, play the game, you still play the game, and you shut down. Like shit about it. Like you know what the game is. Things you know what it's about. You know they didn't put no effort into it. Was so locked up in a new high security jail. Money on allegedly for serving bad sushi to the show. And they keep garbage for you. It all sounded and, you know, like a pretty tough piece of fish to swallow. And you just you we know, needed to get to the bottom of the situation. About and the first order of business was getting Ryuichi out of prison. You know, you brought this on yourself. You know what you was getting into when you bought it. You already seen all the reviews about it. You seen what people said about it, and you have experienced it for yourself about it. Now I know some people are like, well, well, no, no, they're probably going to change it up. If they haven't changed it up in these last past predecessor of those Call of Duty games, they're not planning on doing it now until people constantly sit up and tell Activision, you can go fuck yourself and we're not buying your product anymore. Now I can go on constantly about different games, you know, that some of these developers have made, but you know, those are just a couple right off the bat that I know that, you know, developers should try to stick to their roots. They really shouldn't try to so much experiment so much. You know, they should really listen to their hardcore fans instead of these newbies people that only buys their games for a short, brief period of time and then, you know, ends up selling it back. You know, the way how I see how this game industry is, we, the players, have more power than 
you know, the developers, because we are paying them to make this shit. And I think as since we are the ones paying them to make it, we should demand them to make something that is worth, you know, $63. Because the stuff that they have released over these past couple of years is not worth $60 worth. But tell me, guys, how you feel about it in the comments below. You think, you know, we should, you know, stand up as a whole gaming community and tell all these developers that we're not taking it anymore? Or do you have another solution to solve all these problems? But let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next video. All right, peace. Dragon Bridge to reach this cage. Hurry up! Okay, I'll be there soon. Just